Chevrolet small block is quite possibly the single most popular engine ever. Over half a century old and literally millions of horsepower later, this famous little mouse motor is still the favoured power plant among hot rodders, muscle car lovers and pretty much everybody else. You've seen them on dragsters, off-road trucks and offshore race boats. And for today's segment on Power TV, we took a trip to Dart Machinery to take part in a monster small block build. How about 440 cubic inches? Gathering together a lot of cool parts, Dart have built one of the biggest small blocks we've ever seen. And coming in at over 440 cubic inches, could this be the ultimate mouse motor for the street? We'll find out. Before we get started, Dart set up some ground rules for this 440. First, it needed to run on pump gas if it was gonna be a real street motor. Second, it needed to be all motor. That means none of this cheating stuff like blowers, turbos, nitrous, just air and gas. And thirdly, it needed to be as big as it possibly could be. And with 90 cubic inches over the original 350 cubic inch Chevrolet small block, we'd say Dart has that covered. The good news for you more traditional small block enthusiasts is that Dart's new cast iron SHP small block comes with 350 small block main journals so it can accept most standard small block Chevy cranks. Externally, the block keeps all the factory bolt holes for your starter, bell housing and oil pan and can use a stock stamped steel or plastic timing chain cover. Now for the good stuff. All SHP Chevy blocks come with an extra thick deck while keeping a stock 9025 deck height four inch Siamese bores with an option to bump up to 4125 inches and splayed main caps for extra bottom end durability, which you're going to want when you're making the kind of horsepower our 440 is gonna put out. Oh yeah, and don't forget the SHP's priority oiling, which gets oil to the crank first before anything else. Dart machines all of their engine blocks in-house here in Michigan. Freshly bored and cleaned, our SHP small block was overboard to an impressive 4.185 inches and is now ready to be assembled. Our small block's bottom end is pretty stout with an internally balanced Lunati Pro Series 4-inch stroke crank spinning on Clevite MS bearings. Attached to our 6-inch long Lunati I-beam rods are eight lightweight 10 to 1 compression aluminum pistons. Dart kept the compression down to work great with pump gas. Fastened down with ARP bolts, our connecting rods and main caps were torqued down to the proper specs. Finally, the Moroso oil pickup, pump and deep sump pan because we need to keep this big little motor well oiled. With the short block all buttoned up, it was time to put the heads on. Dart supplied the Pro One Platinum 200cc aluminum heads. These heads redesigned for better combustion and flow, and they feature 200cc intake and 75cc exhaust ports. Completing the heads, Dart outfits the Pro Ones with 2.02 inch intake valves and 1.6 inch exhausts. Between the cylinder heads and the block, we used a pair of Felpro MLS gaskets with a 4.185 bore for our small block Chevy. We torque our ARP head studs down and then we installed our comp cams valve train. Since we knew we'd be revving up this mouse motor, we went with a complete roller setup, starting with comp's stud mounted Pro Magnum roller rocker arms. With our heads on, it was time to slide in our camshaft, choosing between two of comp's best off the shelf roller cams. Next, we installed comp's double roller, adjustable timing chain and two piece timing cover. With our long block complete, the intake manifold was next. Since an engine is just a big air pump, we knew our hungry little Chevrolet would need as much air as we could cram down it. So, Dart supplied their single plane, high rise SBC intake designed to mate up with their Pro One Platinum heads. Together with a Proform 850 CFM carburetor with mechanically operated secondaries or vacuum operated, depending on which carburetor we choose, we're certain our 440 will have all the air and fuel that it can take. Finishing off Dart's 440 is an ATI harmonic balancer, a Mallory distributor and high performance wire kit and Excel spark plugs to fire up the beast. Now it was time to see how all this hard work paid off. Will this be the right combination of parts and pieces to make the ultimate small block Chevy or will we be rethinking the recipe and starting back at square one? We could hardly wait.
Our initial predictions were mid 580s for horsepower and 550 foot-pounds of torque or so as a goal. Uh, we ultimately achieved in excess of 600 horsepower and 570 foot-pounds of torque. The final performance, I think, exceeded our predictions and we're very happy with the result. Uh, it's a very stout but very streetable motor that would be a killer piece to put in somebody's streetcar. Six hundred and two horsepower from a four hundred and forty cubic inch small block Chevy. You wouldn't have believed it if you hadn't have just seen it with your own eyes. And to be honest, neither would we. There really is no end to the limitless applications, configurations, and ways to build a hard knocking, high horsepower small block Chevy. We've still got plenty of fun ideas and parts to try out on our small block. And remember, next time you think that everything's been done with the small block Chevy, think again.